prophecies were fulfilled, the greatest gift of all, God's great rescue plan for his people. That night in Bethlehem it was all fulfilled and the visitors, the shepherds and those wise men were there to witness this great event, the Saviour coming into the world. It was the greatest gift of all. I wonder this Christmas what sort of gifts you will be receiving, what gifts you will be hoping for. Let us remember the greatest gift of all was given to us, the birth of Jesus. Maybe you're hoping for snow this Christmas, maybe there are other things you're hoping for, but let us remember where we can place our hope. Let us remember and give thanks for the gift that was given, the greatest gift that is there and available for all. Bad news, <laughs> no room in Bethlehem, so I'm afraid you have to stay in our stable. If you like, because your wife is expecting a baby, you're welcome to stay in my stable. Okay. Oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary. It's much warmer in here, I can certainly tell you that. But as we sit here on Christmas Day for one final reflection, we can think about this Advent calendar and how we've been able to see God's great plan the prophecies given hundreds of years before and then they, how they were fulfilled. How every part and every detail of God's plan all worked out. We thought about the gifts that the wise men brought. These wise men here, the gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. But also of Jesus being the true king. That greatest gift of all was God's gift to us, the gift of Jesus. <laughs> Not just the baby in the manger, but the man he grew up to be, and ultimately the death he would die on the cross. It was God's great gift. Not just for the shepherds to be able to come and see, not just for Mary and Joseph, not just for those wise men, but the greatest gift for us. That if we put our trust in Jesus, we have that promise of eternal life. It's God's great love for his people that caused all of this to happen, for Jesus to come into the world. The verse from John's Gospel in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, and that whoever believes in him shall not die, but have eternal life. That promise of eternal life that comes through believing in Jesus. God's great gift, the greatest gift of all that he has given to us. I wonder what sort of gifts you'll be unwrapping today. Perhaps things you've hoped for all year, or even for a few weeks, or maybe even it's a surprise. But the greatest gift of all is the gift of Jesus, a gift promised hundreds of years before and a gift because of God's great love. Have you opened and accepted that gift today? That free gift of Jesus, of knowing him, of accepting him as Lord and Saviour. Jesus ultimately would go to die on the cross because of God's great love for us. And as we reflect and think about that wonderful gift that we've heard about over the last few weeks, let us think about what gift we can give. Those wise men brought gifts to Jesus. What gifts can we give? Jesus was the greatest gift of all. Can we give our hearts to him? I say, I want you to be in my life. I want a relationship with Jesus. 
to know him, to walk with him each day. Relationship with God. What gifts can we give? How can we serve him? How can we do good for him? To love and support others. Jesus was the greatest gift of all, the true king. How do we respond to that gift today? How do we respond? And what gifts can we give? How can we look to serve him? God is good. And I want all of us to know that great love this Christmas. The great love of God. And the greatest gift of all. His love that led him to give us that great gift of Jesus. Let us not just celebrate that gift today. But to know it every day. To know it each day in our lives. And to know that he is at work. God is good. And he loves each one of us with the greatest gift of all. <laughs> it's a baby boy, just as God promised, God's own son, and his name is Jesus. <laughs> Well, I hope that you're able to enjoy celebrating today, remembering the great gift of Christmas, uh, the true meaning of Christmas and God's great love. Um, but you're able to enjoy celebrating throughout today and through the rest of the year with friends and family. It's been a great privilege for us to be able to uh, do this Advent calendar video, all these videos over the last month. And so I want to say a big thank you to everybody from the church and from the different groups in the church, for the art group and those in toddlers and messy church and the coffee morning uh, for all your contributions and also the contributions from the staff at Lisbury Primary School, uh, Lisbury High School and also Newport Live Gym um, for your contributions as well to these videos uh, and those in, in my own family who've stepped in uh, and done and done some videos and those those neighbours from around the area who've helped out as well. Here's just a little bit of uh, light entertainment for you on Christmas Day. Uh, we had something similar last year it's not quite the same performance, but it's just a few memories of what's gone on over Christmas. And yes, a few of the things which didn't quite make it onto the final edit. Oh, Hang on, I'll wear my glasses. Sheltiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Abijah, the fa father of Ezer. Asa. Asa, yeah. Yeah. Abijah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Rock and roll. Abijah, <laughs> the father of Asia. No. <laughs> Jaconia was a brother of. Isa! <laughs> Take my glass off. Stop looking at me, Jane. I go faster. Jaconia was the father of. <laughs> no, Abiza, the father of Isa. <laughs> In the sixth month of 11. Okay, sorry. Abiza, the father of Isaac. Speak tenderly to Cynthia. Oh gosh, she's not. A... Oh, Abiza, the father of Isaac. 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 O
because there is no guest room available available for them. On behalf of everyone at Lisbury Baptist Church, we would like to wish you a very happy Christmas and a happy new year full of God's blessings.